Today we're looking at a game releasing soon that I've been very eager to talk about for a while now, and that's Sonic Mania. I think it's fair to say Sonic has had a rocky road over the years when it tried to make the conversion from 2D to 3D with some relatively decent titles that fans enjoyed, and many not so good ones. Developers have tried numerous styles of 3D Sonic games, some with drastically different gameplay elements, from controlling three characters at once in Heroes, turning into a werehog and Unleashed, and using wisps in Sonic Colours, to name just a few, with some working much better than others, but many never really managing to quite nail the Sonic experience many hoped for each time. Sonic Mania, on the other hand, doesn't try to do anything drastically new at all, and that strangely might just be what the series needs right now. The game tries to emulate the gameplay of the three original Sega Genesis titles and effectively acts like a true sequel to them. A Sonic 4 was released in 2010, but the less said about that game the better as it felt like a half attempt to do what the originals did was also trying to blend modern Sonic elements and failed quite badly in a number of regards. Mania feels like it goes a whole hog and properly provides the true classic Genesis Sonic experience that made Sonic so popular back in the day and what many fans have been clamouring for for years now. The game releases really soon on the 15th of August for the current gen consoles, the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and also PC. It's a downloadable only title with a price of £15.99 in the UK and $19.99 in the US, so pretty cheap in comparison to others. The game is being developed by Head Cannon and Pagoda West Games. Head Cannon haven't developed many games but they did handle the mobile ports of the Genesis Sonic games, which many would argue are the definitive versions. Most interestingly however is that a number if not all the people working on the game are actually fans of the series, such as Christian Whitehead, also known as Taxman, who created a fan Sonic game called Retro Sonic that was very well received and for a fan game really nailed what made a classic Sonic game great, from the level design right down to the physics. The founder of Head Cannon, Simon Tomley, who also goes by Stealth, has been known in the Sonic modding community for years also, meaning Sonic Mania appears to be in great hands. Despite its art style and graphics harkening back to the 90s, its animations haven't just been reused from old titles, with them being completely redesigned and animated, looking really smooth and crisp. As you'd expect, the game runs in 16x9 widescreen as opposed to the 4x3 the classic Genesis games did. Widescreen makes a big difference to the gameplay, as you'll be able to react to obstacles and enemies much better due to simply being able to see them sooner, meaning you'll have less infuriating deaths. The game runs at 1080p and possibly higher on the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, although nothing has been mentioned or confirmed regarding this at the moment. Despite the resolution maybe not being quite as important for such a game as others, it will still ensure the sprites and overall image is clear and sharp. For those that want to get that retro CRT experience, you have the option to toggle on and off a scanline filter that attempts to imitate it as best as possible. When it comes to playable characters, much like Sonic 3, you have the choice of Sonic, Tails and Knuckles. Sonic, as you'd expect, has speed as his main component, Tails has the ability of temporary flight, and finally Knuckles can glide and climb certain wall surfaces. Thankfully no other additional characters have been added, as these three work great and add their own variety to the gameplay. Special and bonus stages also make a return. The special stages are akin to those from Sonic CD, we need to catch up to a UFO and obtain a Chaos Emerald. Whilst the bonus stages play the same as the special stages from Sonic 3, we need to run across a sphere level, collecting blue orbs and trying to avoid the red ones, but the longer you survive, the more the speed increases. Sonic Mania's success will come down to two elements, whether the 90s 2D Sonic gameplay still holds up well today, and how much people want to relive the nostalgia of a classic Sonic game. I'm kind of amazed it's taken this long for Sega to go down this road, as it seems like a no-brainer, and they've exhausted a lot of other avenues at this point. As someone who was born in the early 90s, with Sonic being my first game ever, it's certainly a game I can't wait to play, as I expect is the case for many others in their 20s and older. Sonic Mania looks like the first game in a long time to really produce a fantastic title in the series, but we'll know for sure come its August 15th release. If you enjoyed the Genesis games and like retro 2D platformers, it's likely you'll enjoy Sonic Mania. If however that doesn't interest you, Sega have you covered with a full 3D Sonic title, Sonic Forces, releasing towards the end of the year, so no matter what kind of Sonic fan you are, there is something for you. With that said, I haven't been as excited for a Sonic game as much as I have for Sonic Mania in a long time, and so far those that have spent plenty of time with the game have had nothing but positive things to say. That's it for today, I hope you liked the video, if you did be sure to leave a like and sub and follow Project Gamer on Twitter for channel updates. Let me know if you're thinking of picking up Sonic Mania in the comments. Click the thumbnail on the left or right for another of my videos. Thanks for watching as usual, and I'll see you on the next video.